Happy Thursday, everyone. I'll keep this introduction very brief. I uh, am a father. I have two boys, eight and 12. I'm a seven time founder. I've never really had a job, just been starting tech companies in the Silicon Valley the last 23 years. And uh, I live in a treehouse just south of the San Francisco Bay Area. So it's from time to time, bandwidth can be an issue. Hopefully you all can hear me clearly. And I love emerging tech trends. I think making ideas scale is super important. Otherwise, you can't uh, make the like, type of impact that Brian, Keith, and Travis have made in their career. So really happy to be here. I look forward to talking more about what my team and I have built at Attention Live that allows us to broadcast Clubhouse Rooms directly to Amazon Alexa, as well as YouTube, and create all sorts of fun tech uh, with that, but maybe we'll get into that stuff a bit later. I'd love to have Well, emerging tech trends I'm most excited about. I wrote a white paper recently called Decentralized Voice Tech Will Disrupt Centralized Interfaces. So there's, I'm excited about everything you guys are talking about, right? Artificial intelligence, machine learning, NL. P, NLU, conversational AI, everything around the AI space, the idea of flying cars and tunnels that will suck my car from one place to another, or space exploration, like all these different things. And Travis has definitely hit the nail on the head. All of the struggles I've had as a seven time entrepreneur are because of lack of cash flow. You know, when you keep building, but you don't find that right spot and people willing to give you their money. Nevertheless, I'll come back to my two main trends. One is voice tech. I think that we went from 10 fingers on a keyboard to two thumbs on a piece of glass. And I think that the primary interface of the future will be our voice. And whether we're talking to Alexa or Siri or Assistant, or we create our own voice interface. Uh, and I do think that that's the most human way to interact with technology. And so I would say that voice tech is the emerging tech trend that's best for humans. The other tech trend that I feel very strongly about is decentralized ledger technology. So we see this in DeFi with cryptocurrency. Uh, we're seeing some new things play out with smart contracts around supply chain management, which is revolutionary. We also see smart contracts playing a big role for artists and video games with what are called NFTs or non-fungible tokens, these one-of-one -one crypto collectibles of sorts. Uh, we're playing in that space, creating NFTs. Uh, for every single broadcast that goes through our software. So imagine this clubhouse room, if all of us were using uh, our software, every word that Brian, Keith and Travis said would be transcribed for them, recorded for them, broadcast to their specific channels like YouTube channels or Alexa channel, we'd build a skill for them or whatnot automatically. And then they would have proof of their intellectual property because we'd put that token that of the transcription, the audio file on the Ethereum blockchain. So that, that to me is a huge emerging tech trend, leveraging voice tech for the human interface and leveraging decentralized technology as the foundation of what's being built with uh, artificial intelligence and all things that are coming. Thank you. I'm gonna cast two really quick visions uh, just to spark imagination about how I see voice playing out. So 18 months from now, I imagine that Grandma Jane, she loses Grandpa John. And John's gone. But there's a tech company that's able to take Grandpa John, uh, his videos, the audio files that his grandkids have of him, the text messages that he used to write to his niece and his nephew, his son and his daughter. And they're going to be able to take his voice and they will overlay Alexa, Samsung Bixby, Microsoft Cortana, whatever it is, or an independent uh, voice assistant. And Grandma Jane, well, she's not doing so well because Grandpa John died. But now that Jane gets to listen to her, her deceased husband give her guidance, even though she's getting Alzheimer's, even though she has the onset of dementia, now it can be her deceased husband, his voice, with his empathy and his compassion, that when it's time to get up, he speaks to her, Jane, it's John, uh, it's time for you to get up. I'm gonna play our favorite song right now, honey. And uh, your daughter, she's gonna come in in the next five minutes and she's gonna bring you your favorite drink or your favorite snack, or she's gonna sit down with you and show you pictures of your grandkids. And don't be afraid, 
Don't be afraid if you don't remember them. That's normal. This is what you go through every day. And I used to be here to take care of you, but I'm not here with you anymore. But this at least is my chance to still be present with you. So imagine, my friends, what happens when we take it to that extent in the next year or two because of the pace of technology. One last thing as an inspiration for voice technology. Take it out 81 months. Starlink is everywhere. Every person, there's 3 billion people that don't have internet right now. There's 3 billion people that make less than 2 hours 50 cents a day right now. Imagine every single one of them. It doesn't matter if they cannot, uh, if they can't speak a major language. It doesn't matter if they're not articulate, if they can't read or write. But they'll have some sort of ring or some sort of watch or some sort of pair of glasses that will connect them to the internet. And they will have internet connectivity. And with their voice, they will be able to speak to the cloud and be able to tell the cloud what they want to learn. So they can get a skill. So they can actually apply themselves and be a productive member of the global society and make a living from that skill. Or maybe they're ready to actually teach something. And so they know how to rear children. They know how to cook. They know how to garden. They know how to do art. They have all kinds of crazy stories about their ancestors, what this ancestor did 50 years ago or 300 years ago. And they can start speaking and telling these amazing stories. And we, we're tired of Netflix. We're tired of Amazon Prime. We're tired of the same podcasters over and over again. We want to hear the jungle woman talk about her great, 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 great ancestors and the fact that that jungle woman can speak in her own dialect, in her own voice, and have it translated into our voice and us be able to hear it with the rest of the globe in real time. And those are two really profound examples of what could happen in the next 18 to 81 months in the way I see technology scaling at the present moment. So, so good. Well articulated, Ian.